James Gunn is at it again. Blue Beetle, the first character, but also some other characters are going to be in it as well. Digital Charcuterie Hulk, smash the like button and subscribe to the video. Stay up to date with everything. Ring that bell. Well, Nathan Fillion has been cast in Superman Legacy as Guy Gardner, the Green Lantern. And I got to say, this is like great casting. I think the one, one of James Gunn's strongest suits is his uh, ca casting. He finds the perfect actors to portray the roles. And it looks like this is no exception for Superman Legacy at this point. But he was asked online by Actex underscore 21. So excited, James. This is going to be the greatest Superman movie. But what about Nathan's character in the Suicide Squad? DTK is supposed to be alive. You are rebooting that part. How does it fit everything? I cannot understand. Can you explain it? I'm confused. Thanks for everything, boss. DC fans are with you. And James Gunn replied, DC Studios movies and canon start with legacy. Is this more confusing or not? Would I... So he always said Blue Beetle was the first DCU character, but Superman Legacy would be the first DCU film. So basically what he's saying is the events of the Blue Beetle movie don't necessarily translate into what's going forward, but the character they're going to pick pocket out of there. He said this, there's going to be multiple characters as well, not just Blue Beetle. I think Margot Robbie, Har Harley Quinn is one. John Cena, Peacemaker is clearly another. And there's been a lot of talk about Sasha Kaye, Supergirl. That remains to be seen. That one, the further this goes along, the more you've got to believe that she will be recast. But that is what he is doing. He is starting from scratch with Superman Legacy, but using actors in existing roles that he thought fit the part that were proper and will translate well into the new DCU. So D TDK, while in that movie, that movie is not part of the DCU. It's part of the DCEU, which would be an alternate timeline, which I guess, you know, hindsight, they probably could have made the Flash movie deal with this a little bit towards the end, but obviously the Flash movie was made way before any of this happened. So that's how it's going to all work out. Superman Legacy is going to introduce a bunch of new characters. Hot Girl can't wait. And then we're going to get some more of the characters that we've grown to love, hopefully, throughout the DCEU and bring them into the new DCU in 2025 with Superman Legacy. Does this make sense to you guys? Are you satisfied with the direction this is going? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.